Hello everybody, welcome back to Crate and Art. Today we're going to make over the Dollar Tree hanging truck signs. And I did this before and I have to do it again. So you're going to need two of the Dollar Tree truck signs. I have some black paint, green paint, a hammer, scissors. I have some magnets from the Dollar Tree. I picked up these really cute yellow ball flowers from the Dollar Tree. Some little sunflowers from the Dollar Tree. I got these lemons at Michael's and they were $10 and I got them for half off, so I got them for $5. I also need a pool noodle, a piece of pool noodle, a little sanding block or sandpaper. I have a large X-Acto knife, some paint brushes. I have some paint markers. I have a little pokey thing from the Dollar Tree. I have some glue sticks. I have another little X-Acto knife. I also have some wire. And I have some black wire that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I got some wire, it's probably about double the thickness of wire. And I got this at Home Depot. I have four little checkers that I took from a game from the Dollar Tree. I have some matte finish Mod Podge. I have my thing of eyeballs. I have two crates full of little faux peaches and I got these peaches at Walmart. And I think they were like $3.88 for a little box of peaches. I have an extra crate. I also have my glue gun. I have some black pipe cleaners and some mesh bags that I got from something from the Dollar Tree came in it. So I just save these little mesh bags. I have these little wooden domino pieces I got from the Dollar Tree and it came in a pack. I think it was like 24 or 27 of them came in a pack. But I'm just gonna use six of these today. I also have a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of wire cutters. I have this little tweezers just in case I need them to pick my eyeballs up. I have some different kinds of paper. And these are just random scrapbook paper, and I'll show you what we're going to do with these. I also printed out some words on my Cricut for the sign on my little truck. So, I have a pencil, and that's it. So, let me get situated. We get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to take off one of your truck sides. So, you want to take off these little pieces. Mine happened to fall on the floor and pop right off. Anyways, you want to take those two little pieces off because we're going to turn this around and we're going to put them on the opposite side. Okay, so the, then the thing you want to do is you want to remove this glue that's on the back of this. So grab your ruler, and this is a metal one. I picked this up from the Dollar Tree, and it's awesome because it's nice and sturdy and strong. But anyways, you're going to take this and you're going to flip your truck over and you're going to draw a line from one end to the other right here. And then you're going to take your X-Acto blade here and you're going to score this. And you're going to just do this as many times as you can. went ahead and wiped off all of my stuff to get some of this glitter off with a wet paper towel. And I'm going to glue these back on to the truck here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and paint all of my truck green except for the tires. Those are gonna be painted black.
Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these crates and we're gonna take two of these middle sections out. So you wanna remove these three on each side. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do is this little piece right here is too wide. So when you stick these together, it won't go together. So go ahead and take this piece off here. So you're gonna just smack off one more piece of this. And then all you have to do is just glue it on and move it back a little bit so it's nice and flush with the edges. Okay, so now you're gonna take this other crate and you're gonna knock off all of these slats on here because we're gonna use all of these slats. Now let's go ahead and work on these crates before we paint them. We're gonna go ahead and glue these slats back on here. And remember, we're gonna just move it so it's flush. Going to glue these two together. An extra bead of glue right along that seam. So now I'm going to paint the crate and all the sticks green. Now that I've got it painted green, we're going to go ahead and glue this to the back of the truck here on the inside. So you just want to take this and do it this way. So it needs to be going long ways. And we're just going to glue it like this. do is I'm going to put a little extra glue along these a little bit of these edges just to help keep this from falling apart. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to glue these slats all the way up around the truck and to leave a little space in between so you have enough slats. Now if you wanted to do it and have no space in between you would just use another crate, tear it apart, paint it green, you could put them right on top of each other so there would be no space but i don't mind i'm going to leave a little space in between all of mine Okay, once you have the truck all glued together, you can go ahead and add an extra layer of glue if you want to on the back sides of all of your slats, just to help keep it stronger. And then what I'm gonna do is I am going to touch up everywhere I put that glue, I'm gonna to touch up the green, the same green paint and put it on top, just where the glue spots are. And then I'm going to glue on these little checkers. 
and I found these at the Dollar Tree and you can get the whole game and it comes with a whole bunch of these little checkers in there. Now I'm going to glue a little piece of wood on here first and then I'm going to glue it on to each where each one of these tires goes. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn some of these lemons and these peaches into little people like I did with my lime and my coconut. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then we're going to turn these into bumblebees and I picked these up from the Dollar Tree and this is in their fall assortment and they're so cute so I can't wait to show you that. So we're going to go ahead and do the people for the peaches and the lemons first and what you want to do is go ahead and figure out how many you want to make. This wire at Home Depot and you're just going to cut off a piece of this with your wire cutters it's about I don't know how many inches this is probably three or four inches and then you're going to want to bend this into these shapes and I made their feet look like little kind of like little hearts and I made their arms look like um, these little arms like this so you're just going to bend that into the shape you want. So we're going to go ahead and make all of their hands. After you get your wires made, you're going to paint these with just some black craft paint. So I'm going to go ahead and paint all of my little arms and legs. So while my arms and legs are drying, I'm going to go ahead and put the faces on these. And I have a bunch of different eyeballs in here and I have little half circle ones, little solid black ones. I have little eyeballs that look like these. I have eyeballs that look like these. So I think I'm just going to use a mixture of different ones. So I think on the big ones, I'm going to use these eyeballs and the medium ones, I'm going to use these. And then the little baby ones, I'm going to use these, just these little black solid dots. To get the eyeballs glued on we're just going to put some faces on there i'm going to do some like this one and some just plain smiley faces after you get the faces on and the eyeballs glued on we're going to go ahead and put the arms on and you're just going to use this little pokey tool i got from the dollar tree and you're just going to poke in there where you want the arms to go so you just want to poke a little hole and then you're going to stick the arm in. Okay, so there's how I made him, and I'm just gonna continue and make the rest of these. Now I'm gonna make some bumblebees, and I got these flowers at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to make, I don't know, I'll probably just make all of these real quick. So what I'm going to do is you're going to need some of this wire that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, some loops. 
and you're going to make them about a, however big you want the wings to be. About like this. You're going to cut this off. So I just twisted it, made a little loop here. The next thing you want to do is you want to add glue all around the rim of the circle that you just made. So go ahead and put some glue. And then you're going to set this right on top of this piece of mesh. Just like this. Then you're going to let that dry. And once that dries, you're going to take your black paint and you're just going to touch up where the glue is and you won't even see the glue. Just going to cut right along the edge. While the wings are drying, we're going to work on these little balls and we're going to put this pipe cleaner right around it. So you want to just pull, put it around it like this, cut off the extra, and then you're just going to hot glue this around the ball. Two little holes, add some glue, Now, I'm going to add a little stinger out the back. I might add a little mouth to this. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make little signs to go on the side of the truck. And I got these at the Dollar Tree, and it's a package of these little kind of wooden dominoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut out some of these different papers and decoupage them on the front or glue, the, glue them to the front of these. And then I'm going to use my Cricut and I printed out little names so I can interchange them on my truck. So now that we have my signs all ready to go, we're going to cut the metal disc that came with the magnets and you're just going to cut it in half because you need half on one side of the truck and half on the other side. And you're just going to hot glue this metal on the side of the truck. take a piece of magnet and glue it to the back of each one of these little signs. Okay, 
Okay, so now I just took my paint marker here and I drew the lines back on my truck. So you can just put whatever lines you want back on there. And the next thing we're gonna do is I took a piece of pool noodle here and I took a section that will fit in the back of the truck. I cut it that length and then I cut it in half. And these fit perfectly down inside of the back of this truck as like a little filler. And then you can poke your things in there if you want to have them poke in there. So I'm going to go ahead and set each truck up and show you what each truck looks like Well, here's the little truck we made. Isn't it so cute? I just love it. It's gotta be my favorite. I love my little lemon guys. They were so cute on my tiered tray and my peaches. It's so fun. I love my little signs that I can interchange off my truck. So if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.